hi guys welcome back to my channel um today is officially week number four of my paycheck for may and um this this month is pretty long so it has five paychecks for me so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it all right so for this week i was able to make 348 dollars and so I do work a part-time job and with my paycheck I mainly focus on sinking funds more than anything like I really don't do expenses um, I know that those are like the bills the mortgage water gas but I mainly work to help out my husband and he takes care of the bills basically but um, I don't really show that because it's done electronically like the mortgage is in automatic payment also our internet is in automatic payment so there's not really much for me to show when it comes to that because all that is done electronically so yes I know I was seeing some of those comments yes um, I do have bills I just don't show it um, I just started working to help out in some way that I can and to you know not just be home um, I've been home since oof about seven years you know so last year i started working in july so i'm about to make a year working and you know it's 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 made me happy because you know i know a lot of people can relate to me and have a part-time job too and maybe they don't know how to put in in their household since they see that they're only making a little bit but let me tell you a little will always go a long way all right so let's go ahead and start telling these $348 how they will help out this week. And so I have my little journal here. I got this one at Michael's. Also, my calendar is from Michael's. And so let's open her up. And I'm going to write down $348 at the top because that's how much I got paid. All right. Starting with my categories. And I have here my calculator because I like to subtract as we go so 348 okay so starting with my tithe my tithe this week is going to get $35 so my tithe is 10% of what I make in in a week on my paycheck and that's more like religious reasons you everybody will have different categories but I do get that question asked a lot and that's what it is all right, so 348 minus the 35 leaves me with 315. Gas for the vehicle, I drive a Camry. It really wastes no gas. My job is literally five minutes away. I'm putting $15, so minus 15. 298. House, this envelope is more for like the AC filters, little stuff that the house needs, you know? I'm going to put this week I'm going to put 15 I usually only put 10 so minus 15 groceries I always put a little amount like 50 40 something like that uh, my husband already gives me $150 and so I like to help out in case I go over the budget especially that the kids have been home this week I'm going to put $45 so minus 45 leaves me with 200 and $38 to work with for my sinking funds. Okay, so close is going to get 45, so minus 45. Family fund, we haven't gone anywhere yet. I'm just stuffing, so when we do go somewhere, I'm gonna put $10, so minus 10. Leaves me with 183. Birthdays is going to get 10. So minus 10, 173, spending, I'm actually going to put five little dollars here because sometimes I want me to get some chips or something at work and, you know, all right, 168, school, I'm actually going to stuff nothing, I haven't even pulled out of that envelope and I still have the 100 in there. School supplies for this year, for the year 2020 to 2021, is going to get $20, so minus 20, 148. Christmas is going to get, I'm actually going to put more into Christmas this week. I'm going to put 30, so minus 30. Giving is going to get 20. And vacation, I am going to put 25. 
to minus 25 leaves me with $73 for savings. That's basically how I do it. If I have anything left over, it automatically goes into savings. I always try to save something in every paycheck. So now that we have all our categories filled out, I need to know my breakdown so I can go to the bank and get the denominations that I need. So 20, 35, 10 and a 5, 10 and a 5, 20, 45, 20, 45, a 10, another 10, a 5, a 20, 20, 30, a 20, 25, and then 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, 150, 10 20s, 6 10s, 7 5s, and 3 1s. All right, I also always like to make sure that this adds up to 348. So $50 plus 200 plus 60 plus 35 plus 3 equals 348. So that means that this is correct and I can go to the bank and tell them that I need these bills and these amounts. All right, I will be right back. Okay, so I have the denominations. I was able to get every bill that I needed according to this. And so let's just go ahead and get started and start stuffing the envelopes, my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so my first category is my tithe. So tithe's getting 35, 20, 30, 5, $35. All right there. Okay. And then the gas, I always put gas like as soon as I, you know, get out of the bank just to have that taken care of. Next is my house envelope and it has currently 65 and we are going to add 15. So 65 plus 15 is going to equal $80. Oh, well, that's a big old 8. <laughs> that circle was not necessary so let me pull the 10 and the 5 to the side and we are going to count ladies and gentlemen because lately we've been slacking we've been slacking when it comes to counting all right so now this needs to equal 80 dollars 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 80 dollars for my house envelope all right, going back into the envelope. Next is my groceries envelope, and we are stuffing 45, but I need to see how much I had left over for this week. So I do have change in here as well. Put that right there. And let's see, I have 10, 15. $18 left over. These dollars are really, oh no, hold on. 19. No, wait. <laughs> 24. 10, 15, 24. So I'm actually going to take these dollars out right here and put them to the side and leave 20 and then add the 45. All right. And so now we have this into our groceries envelope. Moving on to my sinking funds get category. My first one is my clothes envelope. And I am stuffing 45 and I only have $10 here. So I'm actually going to leave this. So 20, 40, 5. You know what? I don't remember getting two 20s for my groceries envelope, huh? Let's go back before we make a mistake. Yep, I did not. I did not. <laughs> See, it's a good thing. It's a good thing I realized now before the end of the video. <laughs> All right. So $45 into my clothes envelope right there. Check. Next is family fun and that's going to get $10 and I already have money in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the $10 and add it on to here. All right. Right there. My next category is birthdays. What? 
why is this one here <laughs> get back in line okay birthdays and in my birthday envelopes i have 132 dollars so we are going to add ten dollars which leaves us with 142 so let me get the 10 to the side and let's start counting to make sure that we have the amount okay so 100 20 30 35 40 Wait, what? <laughs> 100, 20, 30, 5, what? Let's do this again. Because I, I insist that I'm not counting right. Okay, so let's count. 100. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 42. 142. So this envelope is accurate. So now we're going to stuff everything in there along with my index card. Spending is going to get the $5. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the $5 and just put it in there. So you gave me some, a little some, a little treat, a little cookie, <laughs> a cookie. <laughs> School is not going to get anything. I have not even touched this envelope. Everything, they're doing, like, their online stuff. And, well, their school stuff, it's all online. I haven't really bought, like, paper or anything, but it has 100, and... I haven't even touched it, so I'm just not going to stuff it, I guess. I'm just going to leave it like that for this week, okay? Next is my school supplies envelope, and that one is going to get $20. And so, let's go ahead and pull out the 20 and place it somewhere right there. And then we're going to do that math. We're going to add 20 to 410, which leaves us with 430. So this should be 430. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30. 430 in two school supplies envelopes. How many of you guys are preparing to for school? Oh my god. We don't even know what's going on. They haven't given us an update or anything. Um, we don't even know when's the date if they're going to go back. And then they want to do like new requirements for the school. I'm honestly, for now, they just tell us to keep working on their online stuff, on their app that's called iStation and things like that. <sighs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Christmas. What? <laughs> Christmas is going to get $30 this week. So let me take out the 20 and the 10. Scooch these over. And put it so we can count it. All right, so we have the bills inserted and now we are going to fill our index card. We're adding 30 to 455. So 455 plus 30 equals 485. All right, so that's how much we should have right here. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85. 485 into our Christmas envelope. All right. Next is my favorite envelope, the blessing envelope. And that one's the giving envelope. And that's getting a 20. And I just stuff this one. I don't really track it or count it. I just put it in there and let the blessings do its job, you know. So we're just going to leave that right there. All right, last envelope for sinking funds is my vacation envelope, and this one is getting $25, so let's do this, scooch this over, 
and then put it in there so we can count. All right, 25 right there. So we're adding 25. And so we have 465 plus 25 gives us $490. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Now there should be 90, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. All right, I'm all done with my sinking funds category. My last envelope is my savings envelope. So let's just go ahead and do it. So there should be $73 left into here, 50, 70, three. But we put these dollars to the side here. So 73, 74, 75, 76, 78. So $78 is the total amount that I am going to add into my save savings envelope. So 246 plus 78 equals 324. And I do have my calculator here to the side to help me. 324. So let's count to see if we have everything accurate, if everything is good. All right, are you guys ready? Hopefully we don't slip. 100, 200, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So there goes 300. 300, now this should be 24. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Ooh. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's happening? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I see what I did. 50, 70, 80, 90. Apparently this was not 100. This is 100. All right, so 300 right here. Now this should be 24. Let's try this again. I'm telling you, it can never be my video if I don't mess up somewhere. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, oh, 22, 23, 24. Sorry, I saw that. All right. $324 into my savings envelope and I still have one more paycheck le left guys to save some more money all right now that I am done stuffing my envelope I like to put my change right here into my little bank that I like to call where are you right here she patiently waits at the floor there we go this is getting heavy, and it's not even that filled, but it's getting pretty heavy, All right? There we go. All right, guys, so I am all done stuffing my envelopes. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed. I do I do know that I make a little bit, but I do try to help you guys out with any tips um, that I can. And also, I am planning to open a P.O. box because I am getting some subscribers that want to send me something. So I am planning to get a P.O. box, okay? So just be patient with me please um it's really hard for me to do things i live on a tight schedule but okay i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video thank you so much for watching and always remember that a little goes a long way take care stay safe bye